Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are playing with the entire Ace Butte Palatopoly collection. I was sent this entire collection. You guys know I'm not on their PR. I am so small that that is not a thing right now, but I did win their giveaway they were doing on Instagram, which I am still shook about. So we're going to play the game, go over everything you get in the PR box, all the details and more. Keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you've not already, I would love it if you'd click that subscribe button. I upload two times a week. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you back again on the channel for all things beauty, vlogging, makeup, you name it, leave me suggestions in the comments below. So here is the big PR kit, which I believe you can buy like this PR box like this. I can't believe like influencers that get sent PR like this, how freaking big it is. Like they get sent this stuff often. So here's the inside. It's magnetic, it opens really cute. And here's everything inside. So we have the eyeshadow palette with the game, two pairs of magnetic lashes with liner, four eye brushes, three liquid lipsticks, and a lip gloss. So I will leave a link down below to Ace Butte's website. Um, if you're wondering about any prices of this stuff, the entire limited edition PR box, which is what I just showed you, is $159.99. It's my understanding that codes do work on this. I don't personally have a code, but I think there are lots of creators that do. I think um, Anjelica Nickfist has, and Jessica, I think Batty Bean has Batty Bean as code. I think so, but there, there's definitely codes you can use even though I don't have one. If you want just the eyeshadow palette with the game, that's $49.99. The lip set of four, so three liquid lips and the lip gloss is $48.99. The magnetic lash kit, which includes two pairs of lashes and the liner, is $48.99 and the brush set of four which I'll go into those brushes here in a minute are $36.99 so you you are getting the best deal obviously if you get the kit that's why they sell like a kit like that but let me pull out these little brushes I've never gotten a PR kit like I said and they do have this like Kind of goopy sticky stuff on them to get them to stick in the box so let me pull them all out and clean them off really quickly and then i'll go over the different brushes with you so these brushes are vegan and they say that they numbered them in the order you would use when doing your makeup just to help for those of you that may not be familiar of what type of brush to use for what so they've got the p1 which is a round blending brush for the crease area here it is right here they've all got this really Fun, the whole collection uh, like 90s-esque inspired patterns on them. The P2 brush is the tapered blending brush. That's for blending and diffusing the outer corner. There's the two in comparison to each other. Just so you can see this one is a little bigger and fluffier. This one's more tapered. Then the P3 brush is the all over lid brush for packing on color it's a little flatter i do like this type of brush for shimmers and then lastly they gave us a p4 brush which is a precise blending brush for the inner corner color i would even say this kind of thing like i like for the lower lash line as well so those are the four brushes i've never used any brushes from this brand so i'm really excited to see how these work out in our look today so let's get to the palette next. Um, I did play the game already off camera just so that this video wouldn't be a million years long. <laughs> but essentially it's like the game memory where you lay out all of the cards and you have to pick two that match in order to get what shade of the palette to use. Um, so you have to find matching images and then whichever number is higher, that is the number you're going to use for your winning shade. Um, the exception is there's these certain cards, you'll see I picked one here that has a trophy on it. If you do get a trophy one, that trumps whatever number the other card is, unless the other number is a two. So I obviously played the solo edition of this, but you can play it with two people is what it's marketed as. So inside this box, here's the box. There is the palette. We've also got a nice little eye chart to help anybody that doesn't know, you know, crease, inner corner, outer corner, all of that stuff. We've got the directions for the game. 
and then they give you the cards as well as a couple pencils down in the bottom to help you out with playing and then once you've played they also give you this really thick packet so you can play this a lot of times or I'm sure make copies of this if you ran out of your winning shade so you can record what you got in the game so I went ahead and did all this the only thing I haven't done is the total score for um, like lashes and lips deciding that now I did play the game and write down the shades but I have not looked in the palette at all to see like what colors those are and if this is gonna be a wild color story a wild look or not so that's kind of the game I would be really curious to see how it would go with two people <laughs> obviously I'm just one person but let's go ahead and zoom in and do the eye look with the results we got from the game all right, so we're nice and close now. For the crease shade, we got Digital Pet, and I'm gonna use the brushes they suggest too. So let me find where Digital Pet is on here, because like I said, I'm not familiar with this palette at all. I don't know, ooh. Okay, so Digital Pet is a matte, pretty deep kind of plummy, purpley color. So we're gonna go in with the P1 as they suggested. Really quickly before we do that, I just realized I did not pry my eyelids and um, I always do that with any shadow. Even if I'm just putting bronzer in the crease, I always wear eyeshadow primer. So just to be fair to the eyeshadow performance wise, I wanna make sure I do what I always do. And this is not my first eyeshadow palette. I've tried from Ace Beauté, guys. I have the Paradise Fallen and the Tropical Paradise, I think are the two that I have. So this is my third palette I'm trying from them. Okay, so going with the P1 on Digital Pet, I'm really gonna try to not pick up too much because this is quite deep for what I would normally put in the crease. <laughs> I mean, the pigment's there, honey, it really is. The brush feels nice and soft, so that's, that's good. It's definitely pigmented and it doesn't look patchy or anything, which is really nice considering it's some sort of plummy purple, you know? It doesn't look patchy at all. It looks pretty, pretty darn smooth, even. It's blending really easily, which, thank the Lord, because this is our Cree shade and it's pretty dark. <laughs> Although, I would say you can sheer it out. I think, too, guys, it's important to remember, while this is like a fun game and I'm doing the game, you don't have to do the game, you could just do the palette. Or if you don't like the shade you got while you're playing the game, you could always just put it back and redraw, you know? It's not like the, the Palletopoly police are gonna come get you if you don't exactly do what you were supposed to and call you out for cheating. Just making sure this is extremely blended before we go on to the next thing. Cause this is like, it's it's a look already honey i'm glad we're doing lashes because i feel like i have a feeling this is gonna be a dramatic look okay so for the outer corner so we're gonna switch to i think p2 for this particular shade we have acid wash where is that low acid wash where are you oh okay so to shimmer <laughs> I would never put probably a shimmer on the outer corner, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, and it's kind of like a blue one. I'm curious to know um, how the brand decided this game, like what shades would beat out which ones in the point values and things, because I'm sure they didn't just randomly as assign these, I'm sure. Um, so I'll try with this brush with the shimmer, but this is not the type of brush I would usually use for a shimmer. Actually, it's picking up pretty well. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, right? And I'm gonna go on the outer and I'm actually gonna go in probably like halfway and try to blend this also a little bit into the crease shade that we laid down. The shimmer formula is pretty sparkly and looking pretty good considering I'm putting it on with the brush I wouldn't normally. And I didn't put down any sort of like glitter primer or glitter glue underneath of this. Very interesting. Are you guys scared? I'm kind of nervous. How's this gonna how's this gonna turn out? I intentionally picked a day. I have plans to go nowhere in case this looks like a lot when we're done. 
Okay, for the lid shade, we are going in with shoulder pads. Oddly, it's a matte, so it's this bright purple right here. So I guess I'll use P3 as the brush. I don't know, flat brush to kind of pack it on the rest of the lid. Ooh, this one is, okay, lots of fallout like fallout going into other shades fallout so we're tapping 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 because i already have my complexion done okay all right so it's, it's a very purple look for sure i don't think i usually ever put mattes in this area of my eye unless i'm doing like an all matte look that's normally where i would put this shimmer like if anything i would flip these two shades and put the blue um acid wash on the inside and the purple on the outside because that's it's it's just a lot i can't get over it there's so much fallout this palette's getting so dirty from the one shade okay i think i'm gonna go with the first brush just to blend a little bit here to make sure things are looking uh, smooth and transitiony since this is such an odd dark color combo. And yeah, those shadows are performing well so far, guys. It's just like the game that's making it a little weird. The quality of the product has been good. For the inner corner, we're gonna go with Material Girl. Thank goodness it's a shimmer and it's not super, super deep. Here it is right here. Try not to totally um, like pick this up and show it flat now because there's so much fallout in that shoulder pads shade so this is material girl this is going on the inner corner and this is on the p4 brush okay it's like a cute little metallic pinky moment probably a little deeper than i would personally go for the inner corner but it's okay I do want to note as well that when I'm putting my brush in here, the pan is jiggling. Like it, it looks like the pan is not secure in there. Like it's the, the glue's not quite holding it. So it might be a little fragile. Maybe these are magnetic. Maybe that's why. I haven't looked into that. Maybe you guys know, can let me know in the comments. I didn't see anything about that on their site, about it being magnetic or anything you could move around, but maybe I just missed that. Okay, and I guess I'm gonna use the same brush for the lower lash line. VHS is what we're supposed to use, which is weird because it's right next to it. And it's this like greeny, taupey, I don't even know how to describe it, shimmer shade right here. I don't know, but it's going on the lower lash line. I mean, it's fine as the lower lash line, it doesn't look bad it's just kind of weird to me okay and that's the eye look and boy is it a look all right so what we're supposed to do at the bottom here is add up our total score of our shades so i have 4 8 12 13 14 15 16 is my total score that i just wrote down here it says if your card value total is 10 or more go for the fuller longer lashes the extra lashes if it was less than 10 you would do the smaller ones and then if your card values 10 or more, go for a bold lip color. <laughs> and if it's less than, go for the muted color. So let me grab those. All right, we are gonna do the lashes first. Let me put on the liner. Again, I've never, I've never used anything from Ace Beauté but their eyeshadows. So most of these products are new to me. Um, there's no directions, it doesn't look like. Oh yes, there is, there's directions on the back. That's nice. This seems like they really thought about how to make it beginner friendly, which I, I really appreciate that about the collection. Okay, so it says, prep your natural lashes with mascara, then cut the magnetic lash to fit, apply the liner, um, let the first layer of mag magnetic liner dry, and then apply second layer, um, adhere the lashes. Okay. I always do liner before lashes. I know it says do mascara first, but I'm not about that life. So it's just like a little felt tip. We're gonna put on the liner. I do wish it was a brush tip. I always like a brush tip better. Felt tips are just very stiff to me and it feels a little hard to me to get a clean line, but it's, it's not bad. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get out 
these big lashes, see uh, what kind of sizing they look like they need. All right, while that dries, I'm gonna get these out. Just so you know, in case you buy this, <laughs> I thought I broke it because they've got like a piece in here like this started coming up this black line and I was like is it broken no they've actually put like something magnetic in this kit so that your lash will form fit to it since it's magnetic so it's fine it's supposed to do that in case you're wondering all right I think that's mostly dry I'm gonna go back in for a second coat I wasn't sure how the eye look would come out so I didn't do blush yet either so while that dries I'm just gonna add a little blush because the face is looking a little ghostly in my opinion right now all right curl the lashes and add a little mascara while the mascara dries i will say i think the eye look looks a little better now that we have some liner on it um i will say the the liner though it looks really shiny like it's definitely not drying down to be matte or flat which i wish it would it's really shiny but it's okay, I think most of it will get covered up by the lash anyway. These lashes look really nice. The band is very, very flexible, so I think it'll fit on there well. I didn't trim these at all, because um, I think they're gonna fit my eye just fine, but we'll see. It does say you might have to trim them. And if you're new to makeup, the like thinner, skinny side goes on the inside, and then the outside that gets thicker, it like flares, it goes on the outside corner. The other pair are uniformly length all the way across. And wish me luck. I've tried magnetic lashes before. I've never met a pair I liked, but I will say the kind I tried were years ago, and it was a kind where you had to put like one magnet on top and get another magnet on the bottom to like sandwich your lashes. So. This might be better because it didn't have like the magnetic liner situation going on. So I think that's been long enough. Let's see how this goes. Ready? It's sticking pretty well, you guys. Yeah, that's it's sticking pretty well. I might need to trim them a little bit, but not too much. Not bad. Not bad. That's that actually is a pretty nice look, I think. Like, this is definitely a uh, smoky, more nighttime going out look, but it's not a bad look. Okay, I think I think the lashes are on. They're, they are definitely big and large and in charge. So let's do the lip now. So it says I have to go, go big, basically, with this look. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the red today. This one's called Strawberry Shortcake. I'm gonna go for Polly, which is a bright pink. So brights on brights, bolds on bolds for this look. If there's anything in this collection you guys wanna see, like the other liquid lipsticks or the gloss, the other lashes, you want me to play this game again, please let me know in the comments down below. Man, I really have to concentrate <laughs> for a bold lip with this formula. Well, not even with this formula, with this applicator, because it's really quite round and a flat paddle, which I don't find gives you a lot of precision. All right, there's the lip, guys. I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, guys, I think this is probably the boldest look I've maybe ever done in my life. <laughs> um, it's a lot. I really think the eye look would have looked a lot better. Like, I don't even mind the shimmer in the out, outer corner and the matte and the inner. I actually think that looks fine, but this shade in the crease and honestly this inner corner is too too dark it looks a little like i'm having a slumber party at somebody's house and try and make it for the first time and don't know what looks good where it's kind of how it feels <laughs> so i'm not a big huge fan of that the products themselves the brushes were great the lashes are actually really nice i do like them even though they're the magnetic ones like they worked really well the lip feels really comfortable, not drying. We'll see how it lasts. It definitely doesn't feel like it's gonna be transfer proof. I do like the shade. It's just like the look that's throwing me, you know? And that solely has to do with the game. So all in all, and the eyeshadow formula was fine. Um, that one had a lot of fallout, but that, that can happen sometimes with super pigmented, especially purple shades. So I think my only nitpicky thing is the game itself. I do like that they try to go like a different direction and bring something fun, but I think I would just use the products and not necessarily play the game by myself. I could just do a palette bingo, I think, if I wanted to. Or, you know, like I said, maybe you could just play it by yourself and like redraw if you got a shade that you were like, no, that's gonna look terrible. Um, 
but I don't know I'd be curious to play this with two people but I am partially on YouTube because I don't really have any friends in real life that are into makeup the way I am so I feel like it would be really hard pressed to convince one of them to play this game with me like I feel like they'd be like eh, like they might feel a little juvenile you know as I am 31 you just like I don't care I really don't but I could just see that with my friends like I feel like if you have maybe like a kid that's just getting into makeup or a beginner this could be like I said a fun sleepover moment I don't I don't know I don't know how practical it is to play the game itself and I don't know like what are you like does your friend bring their own brushes you know what I mean like I get it's your friends and stuff but like that seems unsanitary to me to both be like swirling in the same palette even if you have different brushes so I just have a lot of questions about how that would go like do you need two sets of this collection to both play one game but have your own separate products because that seems like ideal to me I don't know I just have a lot of questions on the game front it, like I said um I don't want to like critique it too much because I do feel like it is a unique fun idea and I like that about it I just don't know I don't know about it fully personally so yeah guys that's me using the entire Ace Bute Palladopoly collection. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. Um, I can't wait to walk out of the door and see what Wes says about this look. Maybe I'll leave you um, a little blurb in the description about what he said. But yeah, that's all I have today. I hope you have a good rest of the day and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!